Hey, Kaya, come look. Look, Kaya. Oh, no. What have you done? What have you done? That was the Krabby. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, just kidding. If you go to the beach and dig down in the sand, you can find something really, really cool. As you're digging, if you feel something move, don't be alarmed. It's actually a little sand piggy. Let's rinse him off and see. Aha, here he is. Some people call them mole crabs. I call them sand piggies. They're cute and harmless. They do have these little pokies on the back. Just don't touch those. Otherwise, they're awesome. Put them back in the water when you're done, and they'll swim right back down in the sand. And be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. You are not going to believe me when I tell you this, but I promise it's true. I was eating an old crab shell when I realized it was way too thick, so I spit it out and decided to go check out some mysterious rocks. I had to cross this dangerous river, and I can't swim, so I was terrified to say the least. I slowly and carefully crossed at a giant waterfall, and when I made my way across, I realized I forgot my camera, so I had to go back and get it. I didn't want to cross the river again. Again, so I called the Coast Guard for help. Just kidding, I did it myself and jumped across the river like a boss. Right afterwards, I found the teeny tiniest little jellyfish stuck on the shore trying to die. I couldn't let this little jelly blob suffer, so I picked him up, gave him a kiss, and yeeted him back to jellyfish fields. And just as I was finally able to catch my breath, I saw something wiggling on the sand. I had no idea what it was, so I ran over to check. Turns out, it was little sand piggy stuck upside down. I couldn't just stand here and watch him dry up. Sand piggies are like my favorite kinds of pigs, except crabs. So I picked him up, gave him a kiss, rushed him back to the water, and down he went. And to the sand. Afterwards, I finally made it to the mysterious rocks and it was even crazier than I ever imagined. You are not going to believe what oceanic barnacles can do to a human. We already know barnacles can infest sea animals like turtles, but what they can do to people is even crazier. Just like in the case of Chris Johnson, who accidentally cut his hand on a barnacle and became infected with a mycobacterium known as Mycobacterium marinum. This mycobacterium can cause a serious skin infection and can even look like an infestation of barnacles on your skin. Not only would this be very painful, but it could also be very very difficult to treat. Pretty crazy, huh? Be sure to like and follow for more ocean videos. You are not going to believe how old these prehistoric crab fossils are. In my opinion, these fossils are some of the coolest animal fossils that I've ever seen in person. These little crabs are so perfectly preserved that you can see almost every single part of their body from their legs to their carapace and even their claws. These little guys were alive around 30 to 34 million years ago. I think these are pretty amazing. And if you agree, then be sure to like and follow for more ocean videos. You are not going to believe what you're about to see. This is a painted sea anemone. But what's even crazier is my boy Franklin the sea chicken literally practicing karate. And be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. If you flip over a rock at the beach, you might find a common shore crab. Even though they have big, scary-looking pinchers, they hardly ever pinch people, and they do love belly rubs. Crab kisses, mwah. You are not going to believe what I caught out of this little hole. This is a copper rockfish. These guys are really cool. They're like the largemouth bass of the sea. Except these predatory fish have venomous spines on their back and underneath of them. If you were to accidentally get poked by one of these spines, your hand or wherever you got poked would immediately feel bruised for several days. These guys are pretty cool, but it's not the fish we're looking for today. So we're gonna set it free. Mwah. I was outside licking an old whale vertebrae when all of a sudden I realized I was late for my appointment with Melinda the shrimp. Her gills were infected with an invasive blood-sucking parasite, so I had to help. This parasite was so big, and it was extremely hard to get it out from underneath of her gill flap. But after several tries, the surgery was a success. I gave Melinda some pets, yeeted the parasite into the compost. Guys, there's a bird trapped in fishing line. Let's go save it. All right, the, his wing's stuck in the fishing line, but I got him right here. He's gonna, looks like we have to cut this feather a little bit, because the line is wrapped all the way around. Just be careful. Okay, here's the line. All right, looks like we're getting it. We're making progress. It's all right, little birdie. Yeah, it's just wrapped so, so much around his wing there, around his feather. We're getting it though. Okay. okay. Uh, we got it. All right, we're gonna oh, collect so this fishing bad. line. We're gonna set this little guy free. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, yay! Yeah! Oh my gosh, we got him. Good. All right, we've also got a big kelp crab stuck in fishing line. We're gonna rescue this too. We're taking the line off of this kelp crab. 
Look at this guy, this thing is huge. That fishing line wrapped around his uh, little pinchers, so we're gonna set him free right down here. You are not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. This strange tongue looking creature is actually a colony of little animals. It's called a sea squirt, and you can see here how it gets its name. And it's in the phylum Chordata, which includes all animal species with a spine, including humans. So I guess we're basically related. All right, time to eat our cousin back into the ocean. Eee! And be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Hey, little jellyfish. What are you doing here? Come on, little dude, let's get you back in the water. I don't know if you're alive or not, but I hope you are. Come on, little buddy. And a gentle yeet. We're trying to get to that big tide pool, but we have to cross this little ocean river here. A little slight, not too bad. Ah, I made it. Toss it. <laughs> Here, I'll just... Oh, no, I'm scared. We're gonna toss it. You sure? Yeah, it's not right over here. Whew. Thank you. Look at all of these green sea anemones. Imagine if you fell in there and they all grabbed onto you. You wouldn't be able to get free. They would just suck you down and eat you. One finger at a time till you're gone. You are not going to believe what this is. What you're looking at here is a shrunken human head. Certain Amazonian tribes used to practice this ritual in an attempt to ward off enemies and even prevent enemy soldiers' spirits from seeking revenge. Pretty crazy, huh? They call these cutthroat trout because of the little red lines underneath their gills. Looks like their throat's cut, but that's just what they look like naturally. Let's release this little guy. You are not going to believe me when I tell you this, but I promise it's true. I was enjoying a fresh sea salad when all of a sudden I realized I was late for my shrimpy surgery with Megan. Megan came into my office today because she was infested with an invasive blood-sucking isopod parasite. This parasite was attached to Megan's gills and it was draining her of her blood and nutrients. But don't worry, Megan, your life is about to change. Now imagine that you were Megan and you had a parasite that looked like this living underneath of your armpit and sucking out your blood. I handed her the parasite and she completely destroyed destroyed it. I took what was left and yeeted it to my good friend Franklin the sea chicken, but he was robbed by an emo death chicken. And that's when Franklin threatened him with karate. The death chicken flew away. I set Megan free. Oh my gosh, what's this? Oh no. Hey little buddy. Look at it. Hey, come back. Don't be... Okay, she's afraid. It's a little forest woolly bear. What's he doing on the beach? Let's go put him back in the forest. Don't worry, little dude. We'll bring you home. Come on. All right, little dude. Here you go. Bye. Today we're going to see what will happen if I kiss a green sea anemone. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh! 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 Oh, it stings. It feels like stinging nettles on my lips. Don't kiss green sea anemones, guys. It, it stings.